I'm literally green on green right now. Hello. Hello world. Hello. Excuse the fact that, you know, I have black nail polish all over my hands. Little mushroom of green hair on a green background. This is going to be the most random pointless video ever. Yeah, yeah. So, you got Obama on one side and the hurricane on the other. They can't choose which one is more important, so let's just show them both at the same time. Obama, hurricane, Obama, hurricane, Obama, hurricane. Yeah. He's gonna mess up that canvas. He's adding work to the canvas. He's adding his own little personal touch, aren't you, Artemis? He's gonna take a bath on it. Meow. Thundercloud. <laughs> Sorry, I got distracted. My mom left. <laughs> No. She put a pot full of water boiling and then put the lime juice in it to thaw it out. She forgot about it and it set the lime juice on fire. She set the lime juice on fire? Uh, this is actually on record as well. Shall I keep this in the video? Yeah. <laughs> Can't remember. Fishes in the sky. I can't remember what I wanted to say. Moons and stars and stuff and seagulls. Moons and stars and stuff and seagulls. Lost in thought. That's annoying. He does not drink. <laughs> he does not smoke. Oh. He does not do any single mind-altering substance whatsoever. He doesn't even drink caffeine. This is natural. <laughs> and that is highly scary. <laughs> so he goes over to my laptop, sees my lip, lip glass, goes, oh my god, this looks like Pepto-Bismol on a stick. And I'm like, back off. You're worse than my kids. Ugh. Way to go, Paul. Okay. This is me on caffeine thanks to my dirty soy chai latte iced you should have on a hot day. This, ladies and gentlemen, is a dirty chai frap brought to you by Ian. <laughs> That's better. <laughs> Extra on the dirty, I like yes. It very dirty. <laughs> <laughs> yes, in fact, I'm in so high tense energy that next week I'm coming to supermarkets in a can. So, <laughs> <laughs> you just got that like me. I'm not alone. It's powdered. It's, it's powdered. Oh. Anyway, coming up next, we have this lovely poet that puts together all these punches of poetry. We have Donna Jean. <laughs> Participation piece, and if you guys don't participate, it's gonna make me feel really stupid. Okay. Just saying, it's all on participate, you. Participate, <laughs> It's all on you. Problems Anonymous. Does your life seem pointless? Have you had failed suicide attempts? Do you have problems that just never end? Do you need a 12 step meeting, a drink, Jesus, hypnosis, a lobotomy, your mom? Maybe you need therapy? Have you tried all these things and nothing seems to work? Well, if you're still bitching after a failed suicide attempt, I may have a solution for you. Problems Anonymous. Hi, my name's Donna Jean, and I have a problem thinking I have a problem. At PA, you need no higher power or book to quote. No need to shit in somebody's ear for an hour. There is no copay. At PA, there's one simple solution that can be done alone and in the comfort of your very own home. Here's what you do. You take your right hand and you grab your left ear. You take your left hand and you grab your right ear. 
At the same time, you pull as hard as you can until you hear a pop. That is the sound of your head being pulled out of your own ass. Uh, hobo show, piccolo, you can lay mo. Now rip this malicious, malicious mind warp lyricist dismiss. I'm out. <laughs> Alright, uh, what was I saying? Um, excuse my language, I'm not originally from here, so this is like my second language. I'm already just trying to get a hold of it. Um, Where are you from? Uh, I'm from Mexico. Oh, okay. That's Round cool. two. Alright, uh, this is. Oh, howdy, neighbor. <laughs> I don't think I can go. Or, I, I can't say howdy. I'll get shot for that. <laughs> Alright, well, uh, this poem is written by me. Yeah. Um, it's called The Ambiguity of a Lullaby in the Red and Blue Star Covered Night Sky. And here goes. For all of you expecting a mesmerizing and breathtaking poem of epic proportions and biblical relevance, I'm sorry to disappoint you, for you see I am but a poem with a name that has nothing to do with what I represent. I am nothing but the result of a disgusting bipolarity that plays and blinds the stupid creator of mine, who dares call himself a poet. How dare he call me a poem, that selfish, egocentric, self-absorbed piece of shit with a godlike complex that is only shadowed by the big, fat, throbbing size of its insecurity. How dare he call me a poem? Nothing more than a pathetic set of words put together in a not so harmonic way. How dare he call me a poem when the name he gave me is nothing but a lengthy, a lengthy statement wanting to attract the attentions of unexpected bystanders so that he could earn one decimal of their approval because he could not find his own self word when he saw himself butt naked in the mirror this morning. If poets of real talent could hear the words that have wooden me, they would mock me and point at me like the school bully making fun of the facky who just pissed himself in fear of having the obesity beaten out of him by his pursuers. I feel like the Paris Hilton of poems. A poem who's just a poem because it is called a poem and not because it has any type of meaning to it. Then again, who am I to object? Everyone sees the heavens in different eyes. There are enough people in this world that each and every one of them was a star. It will be the most beautiful night in the history of this cynical planet. Who am I but a feeble compelling of feelings that up to the point where the pen was taken hold could have secreted into a mass murder? No. I cannot understand why I was reading as a commoner in this world filled with heartbreaking, tear-jerking, life-changing poems. Poems! Is it, not a group of, is it not a group of feelings turned into words for the sole purpose of existing and nothing else? Could it be that a poem more than it's written for those who hear it, it is written so that the author may keep his sanity? Perhaps this theory is truth. And if it is so, then everything that I know about myself is about as wrong as the misconception that all priests are pedophiles just like they were portrayed in that stupidly hilarious episode of South Park. <laughs> Though if this premise is so, that, that must mean that even if I do not consider myself of quality or intellectual value, even if I am not but epic, not but epic proportions of biblical relevance, even if I am a simple set of words stupidly put together in a not so harmonic way, even if this is so, I can still be considered what people, maybe not really people in the right mind, but people regardless could consider a poem. Therefore, if I am a poem, it must mean that the person who blindly, instinctively put together these words that give me bread might be what just people, maybe not completely sane people, but what people nevertheless call a poet. Thank you. I'm shocked. I feel like I'm like in some weird tono in front of everybody. I just use it. Okay, I have two, and mine. I feel like mine aren't as political or as good as everybody else's, so give me a chance! Okay, I'll start off with the one that's not as depressing. <laughs> Self justification in moderation, that's not the case with you. A disobedient illustration taped back together with glue. Forever with your reasoning is efforts in which you lack. Even with the poorest behavior, here's a pat on the back. Your moaning shook your shoulders. Words coming down like boulders, my patience is wearing thin, thinner than the flimsiest of paper. You're right, I will never win this fight. I feel as if I'm dodging every red planet soaring towards me in sight. Yeah, you're right. Steering around the corner like a speed of light, the suburb in which you originate should make you anything but tight. Competing in a competition to win your truly's heart with a strategy that's definitely more stupid than smart. Your moaning shrug your shoulders. Words coming down with boulders, my patience is wearing thin, thinner than the flimsiest of paper. <laughs> okay, I have to take a picture of this one, because it's on my computer, so give me a second. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> she, provides, she provides her own segue music. I felt like there needed to be music. I can make trumpet noises too, but I'll stop now. <laughs> we might ask you for them later. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 Do that one more time, one more time. Really? Oh, God. <laughs> Oh god, okay, this is a little bit more deep. I wrote 
wrote this one going through a really dark time in my life, so yeah. <laughs> Drowning in my thoughts, I plunge into a deep cocoon of darkness where I will lie there, thinking, dreaming, waiting. I will look up at the stars and stare, how can I confess in this mess? Through self-analysis, I will start hating. I will remember lying there, bare and naked to the world, seeing what I thought I saw in you. I will remember skipping through the streets like hot cotton twirled, remembering exactly when our love was true. Sleeping six feet underground, blessed like an angel, forgotten, thin, frail and cold, why do we take for granted the old? Thank you. All right, give it up for Jess. This is what happens when you go crazy with your mascara and eyeliner out of boredom. I kind of like it though, to be honest. It's weird. We're almost done, you guys. Um, this girl, we had a, a comic cancel earlier and the spot freed up. I couldn't say no. I could not say no to this girl. First time, open mic, visiting from foggy Manchester. Uh, she looks like a pistol. I can tell. I just don't mention her hair though. Don't. Or shirt. Just let it happen. Uh, she doesn't like to talk about it. That's not true. I haven't tried. I haven't even tried to get to know you. <laughs> you guys, Jessica something British. Jessica, Jessica, get up here, Jessica. Come on. Let's give her a taste of America. Come on, you guys. Let's do it. She's on a holiday. She's on a holiday. Let's make this like a good thing for everybody, right? Yeah. Jessica, you guys, Jessica. Yeah. Alright. Okay, so I'm dressed as an American, my American flag anyway, so that's a start, isn't it? Even though it's more of a tablecloth. That I made into a jacket, just kidding. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna point out a few things that I've picked up in America while I've been here. Starting with your transatlantic flights. Who's flown out of the country and flown back in again? Is anyone foreign in here apart from me? Woohoo! Yeah. Okay, so getting into this country is incredibly difficult, especially with the security measures and everything. Like, seriously, like, <laughs> I get here, and the first thing I actually get is, hey, you okay? And I'm like, whoa, and he's like, I'm gonna have to search your ma'am, and I'm like, okay. Eyeball scan, they search me, they like take my fingerprints, they take everything and it's like, take my clothes, just take everything away from me, go on then. As if I didn't feel like an alien enough with this hair. <laughs> Cheers. Okay, so now to my other points in life. Why the fuck do you need super churches? Like seriously, there's so many of them, no wonder this country is completely going to pop. You've just got churches everywhere, like, Okay, I can understand churches, I've got nothing against religion, I believe in a lot of religious values actually. But, why do you need a super church? Do you come out like it's Batman or something? Do you get like wings? Do you come flying out and you're like, woohoo! Praise the Lord! I don't know. I really don't know. <laughs> Toddlers in tiaras. Why? <laughs> why? Like, why? It's like I saw a clip of it and then like throughout the day I was just kind of like, why would you do that? Sitting on the toilet, I'm like, why? Why? Why would you do that to your children? Why? <laughs> Who watches porn? This is a good subject. Woohoo! Guys, if I clap it, you definitely watch porn. <laughs> You're one of those guys that has bookmarks, right? And your favourites and everything. Browsers, red tube and all those lot. Yeah, I know my shit. So, isn't it really annoying when you're trying to watch porn? Mind your own business, getting up a few tabs, oh, I like that one, that one'll do. Oh, nope, she's too hairy, don't like that shit. Oh, gay porn. I'm straight, okay, don't want that stuff. And you just browse in and have the time of your life, and you're about to climax, and you're having a good time, and then it's like, poker pops up in the background, and you're like, why? Why would I want to play Snap right now, or poker, when I'm trying to have a wank? <laughs> why? Why? Ugh, why? So I tell my friends that come to America and the first thing they say is fucking yanks, they're all so fat, me, 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 me. And I stick up for them. I'm like, I love America, I love this place. Like, I went to school here and I, I love it so much. And I always stick up for everybody and I'm like, well, to be honest, not all of the population is fat. And then they're all like, me, 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 me. And I'm like, well, you've got high fructose corn syrup in nearly everything here. So technically speaking, obesity is going to be on the rise because that shit does not digest through your system at all. And then I realised while I was here, 
No wonder people are getting fire and fire over here. Everything is a drive through. Everything. <laughs> drive through pharmacy. In England, you have to get out of your car, lock it, and walk into the pharmacy. <laughs> drive through hospitals. You just get in the car and everything, and it's like, give me an x ray through my van. It's kind of like, how does that even work? It's like you've got drive through everything, drive through banks. Banks! You can just drive through your bank. I've got drive through brothels here as well, like everything. <laughs> you just drive through, pick up a prostitute, get her in the van, go off. It's like Grand Theft Auto, only you don't kill them afterwards to get mo your money back. Does anyone else do that? <laughs> Is that just me? <laughs> if you were Jessica, you guys, that was awesome. <laughs> Super. Super job. Super churches for superheroes, you guys. <laughs> Separation of church and super church. There we go, I have voice. This is my last time here at Cookbook Coffee. I have well and truly abused this place, like poetry night, comedy night, and jam night several times. But I'm going back to England in a few days and I'm gonna miss this coffee house because it's my favorite coffee place in Austin. I love it. You'll have to write. So you're gonna have to just drink ten cups of coffee from here a day for me or something, I don't know. <laughs> Don't cheat, don't ask any questions I know, I know, I know, I know Don't eat sugar before dinner I know, I know, I know, I know And don't have sex before marriage I know, I know, I know, I know don't wear our socks and go outside I know, I know, I know You don't understand me You don't understand You don't understand me at all you don't shit on shit on shit on no I hit 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 in the eve on the break dusk I feel your misty eyes on my skin string of my bow and I ought to correct your hole to toe to us to us I pledge my faith I don't even believe in having no hate I rest my rusty eyes on
let you in, I let you speak to me What did you do, what did you do to me? What did you do, what did you say to me? I don't, I don't believe that I can cause so much harm So much harm And do you, do you, do you understand? Do you, do you, do you take my hand? Smells like Teen Spirit for the 5,000th <laughs> time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's sung by Smashing Pumpkins, who are awesome. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I started, don't I? I forgot. <laughs> the world is a vampire. Since you train, secret destroyer. To the flames, and what do I get for my pain? Betrayed desires and a piece of game, and even though I know, I suppose I'll go on my cool. Despite all my rage, I'm still just a rat in a cage. Despite all my rage, I am still just a rat in a cage. And some might just say, What is lost can never be saved. Despite all my rage, I am still just a rat in a cage. Saved. 
despite all my rage, I'm still just a rotted